So we all know that the hair on your head, or the lack of it, can have a substantial influence on the way you look. But how do we go about this? What works best for us? What's my approach to this problem? There are a lot of ways we can approach this, but for me, I wanted to just focus on a few issues and a certain result that I have in mind. Since I grew out my beard to its longest amount in about 2014, I have been hearing about beards every single day. I hear the word beard every day. People ask me about beards, beards, beards. It's actually become quite a nuisance. It's something that I thought was really interesting until has become something that I just frown upon hearing about it. So I do find interest in style and personal style. So I do my best to help people, but the obsession with facial hair has gotten to a point for me personally that I want to move on past the idea of beards or having people talk to me about beards. So the solution would be to shave it off, right? Well, there's a couple reasons why I don't do that. And one of those is because one, I don't wanna change who I am because other people. If everybody else is being weird and stuff, that's not going to, I'm not gonna let that affect me. So I don't wanna make decisions on how the world works and my response to it. That's silly, I think. Second, I'm not super happy with my face in general. Now, I, I'm okay with it. I, I could shave and be fine, and eventually I will, uh, but for now, I enjoy sculpting my face with the hair on it. I like using the illusions and lines like a design. It's interesting to me, so I am doing something towards that. Also, I do like having a beard, but just not for any of the reasons that most people think that I do, or that I said I used to, or anything that I normally hear about beards. So the solution for me and what I'm going for is to go very short. This is the shortest I've had it in a very long time. This is one of the first times I've ever cut my mustache. Um, I did it once before, and that was kind of where I got the influence for this. I think that it's a really good look. It's kind of in this perfect place for me, for where it's just a lot less noticeable. It just feels right. So the result that I was looking for is to have a more mature style to match how I'm growing as a person. So in one year, when I turn 40, I will be more of the person I envision. I have a person in mind that I want to be, and I want to take those steps, and it's very easy to change how you look. And it's also pretty fun. So for me, when I think about mature, I don't think of long beard. I think long beards are now, at this point, uh, say five years later, it's just kind of an immature thing. And this is just personal opinion, but the people that I admire and I respect and I think are like the, the wisest people, and the people that I admire their style the most, the people I want to look like and be more like, they don't have long beards. They have stubble, they have short beards, they look masculine, but they also aren't over the top. So the outcome for me is to be completely just me. I don't wanna be that guy over there with a beard. I wanna be that guy over there. And that is just something that is just so frustrating that I'm constantly having this beard being noticed. It's, it's maddening actually. I just don't think that I need to be wild anymore. I have plenty of amazing things about myself other than how I look. I don't need the green hair. I don't need the giant beard. I don't need the crazy bedazzled leather jackets. Uh, but, uh, you know, I could if I want to, if like I just felt like it, but I just don't think it's necessary. And I think that I can be a whole package, kind of more like a beautiful car, like a nice Tesla or a BMW or even like, just anything that's uh, practical, beautiful, classy. And I just don't think that long is that anymore. Not for me. Now I understand that if my body was different, my face was different, then maybe. But who I am and who I want to be, that is not it. Now the difficulty with this is that it's not really easy. You know, I could be totally wrong. And I'm, I'm doing this and I'm trying it. 
and I think it's right. And I remember having a shorter one when I did an athletic beard type of thing. It looked quite a bit like this, but it was a little bit longer. It was, it was like, this is like the longest is like about a finger. So it's pretty, pretty short everywhere. And um, it, it's not easy. You gotta kinda play with it and work it. And uh, you know, changing in general is always just, there's always like a tinge of fear. But I say you just kind of have to brave that and just evolve. Just like being a different person isn't easy either. It takes work to work out and build your body and eat right. You make sacrifices. So if you're thinking about going shorter, understand that you will be sacrificing something. You will lose attention because people sometimes just notice things and they think they like it. And I, I for one, I'm done with the misinterpretation of being noticed to being attracted to. Just because I'm wearing a giant yellow trench coat and people go, ah, cool coat. They don't actually always think it's cool. They just noticed it. The same thing with beards that are really large for me, or what I call large, which is my normal, like medium length. So I think that there is a sacrifice you won't get pointed out and this won't be noticed is, is my thing. Uh, and that's what I want. I don't want people to notice my beard. I want them to just see my style. So I think that there's a lot to sacrifice if you were to do this. It's not necessarily for everyone, it's just what I'm doing. And I want to share that with you because it was a decision and it's something I'm, I'm sharing how I'm growing for this next year. And one of these things is my personal style. Um, I'm getting closer and closer. Uh, even only a couple days after I turned 39, I'm just kind of running with it, but I think it looks good. What I've done here uh, to, to sum up is I cut my mustache really short and I've trimmed that quite a bit. So that's really, really short. And that was really scary for me to do because you know, I'm all about don't touch the mustache, just never ever touch it. But it was just too heavy. The shorter that I made everything else, it was just too heavy. So I had to go pretty short. And then on the edges, I just, tr I trimmed off a lot, but I left a little, little tail so that I can just kind of give it a little bit of a curl, but then I can push that curl right into the cheeks. Um, as usual, no trimming of the cheeks. It's just, for me, it's just, I like the little bit of ruggedness. Um, and then on the sides, uh, I kind of messed up. I'm trying to clean it up. I'm gonna go tighter for sure, but I went really short. This is like stubble, basically. Um, and then on the corners, I'm working this still. It's still in progress. It see, it just kind of flares out a little bit because I have cowlicks. So that's kind of in the works. Underneath is pretty short. It's it's really short, kind of the same length as the side here. And then I kind of have it faded up. Uh, then the front, it's kind of about a finger's length. And if you look on the side, it's there. And then below the lip, was I trimmed this a little bit. And then as far as the hair, that's where I started. I started up here and then I matched the weight to the hair. So, so for the hair, I kind of went for more of a like a matured, style with like a little bit of length and um, it just kind of has a little bit of length enough to push it around and then there's a little bit of a part not much but I can have one and then I just kind of blended it up into that and then on the back you can see there's just some fading and there is some length. Uh, it's really clean it's really classy I push it back with my hand I, I as I mentioned in my other video, that I don't really do much. I just kind of have some products and beard brand stuff I put into it and I push it back. It's easy, I, I just like it. So if you like this video, let me know what you think of this style. Does, I'm just curious what you think. Uh, if you liked it, like, subscribe, all that business. And I wanna hear from you. What have you been noticing? Uh, are you in agreement with me that beards have changed for the past couple, like say three years, uh, where it's just less exciting. I just think that they're really cool and they're important in certain ways, but not the whole like, oh, beards, uh, thing, which is really just, I think it's a little silly. I think that it's really, really important to grow and mature. 
Uh, it, it's not like a person is stupid because they change from a child to an adult. It's actually that you get better and you can make a beard better. And the initial stages of having a beard are that exciting, oh, beard, and it's like cool and macho and all that. I get it, I get it. I've been there, I know about that. I don't think it's great, it's just childish. So it's time for me to, I've, I've moved on beyond that, and now I wanna move into my elder years, not really, but like I meant style-wise. So yeah, that's about it. Um, love to hear from you guys. And uh, you know, if I'm wrong, tell me what I'm wrong. Like I'm open to suggestions and feedback. So till next time, over.